Today we're visiting Homosassa Springs Wildlife State Park. We've never been here before, so um, we're going to take you for a tour. Please remain seated until we get to the other end. If you want to take a picture, stand up, take your fi picture, then sit back down. In case I hit something in the water over there, I just don't want to get anybody hurt. Okay. Our park is a refuge park. Mostly a showcase of wildlife that have either been endangered, injured, or been imprinted on humans. They may have been shot, hit by a car, run over by a boat, caught in fishing lines, but for whatever reason, they cannot be returned to the wild and survive on their own. So we take them in and we feed and treat them very, very well for their remaining years. Now we are traveling down Pepper Creek. Pepper Creek gets its name from the word homo sassa, which means where the wild peppers grow. Years ago, all along these banks were bushes with red berries on them, and the Native Americans called them wild peppers. They were, in fact, holly bushes, and you will still see some of them along the banks today. Here is the home for Lou the hippopotamus. Now, Lou is a long-term resident of the park, going back to the days when this was a privately owned park before the state took over. When the state took over the park, they went about looking for homes for all the animals that weren't native to Florida. But there was an outcry from the local children who visited the park a lot that they didn't want to lose Lou. So Lou became an honorary citizen of Florida by decree of the governor. They have paperwork and everything for that and Lou's allowed to live out his years in the park. Now Lou is currently 60 years old, which is 10 years more than what a hippopotamus would live in the wild. So Lou's had a very good life. This spot right here is the Manatee Care Center. Looking into it, we can see there are two manatee in there. This is a natural spring-fed waterway, so the water temperature is only about 72 degrees. The manatees don't like cold water, so they will come inland from the ocean into here to stay warm during the winter months.
we're at Homosassa State Park and it's just off the Crystal River and if you're in this area it's well worth a stop to check this out they have uh, manatees here alligators bears all kinds of animals it's native to Florida uh, except for Lou the hippo who is going to be turning 63 in a few days but this is a really nice stop it's about $13 to go to the park it's an extra three dollars if you want to take the boat ride versus a tram into the park and we really enjoyed it uh, there's a lot to see here spend an afternoon you don't have to, it's not you know uh, all day event but you can spend the afternoon here this is a great time of year to come here because the ocean temperature water temperature is getting colder and that brings the manatees up the river up the crystal river and so we are up right by the river there and there was just like all kinds of manatee and they're, they're swimming right there in front of you it's really neat so we would highly recommend this as a stop when you're in the central florida area this is one of the old florida attractions um, it's a, a, now a state park but it used to be a private attraction and then over the years i don't know how many years ago but the state park bought the place and so they could keep it going so definitely come here if you're in the florida area